be familiar true, in. True, true. And one of the biggest benefits of playing, and I mentioned this earlier, uh, Samus versus Dark Samus, mm -hmm. the fact that Quick plays high with a high amount of mobility, a high amount of like input dexterity, it means that you are both susceptible to some of Rob's counter hits and Quick buttons, but also you have much uh, a much higher ceiling than just charge shot pass. Mm -hmm. Like it's a it's a neat dynamic, but let trapping is still let trapping. Here we go, watching Quick work. Yeah, and the roll of Rob will not be able to see if he could not get off the ledge. Once the up smash actually tries to catch the roll there. But I, I've already seen Quick use that charge shot in such tricky timings for Rob. We saw it interrupt the Nair, and then we saw it interrupt another landing option. It's so hard for Rob, it seems, to get back from that charge shot. And Epic Gabriel having 175% is showing that. And one of the unfortunate things about firing all these small charge shots <laughs> is that you don't get the, uh, the knockback boost from having a full charge beam. Yeah. But um, when you're tallying up to 175, yeah, you're doing pretty good. But also mm. the, uh, the down throw setting up for a stock of his own. Epic Gabriel never far behind as we even ourselves back up to two stocks apiece. Mm. Epic Gabriel now with the gyro in hand. Great position. Gets a combo started. And a gyro again. And this is scary. 55% is going to throw it off stage. So no road arm confirm here. It's actually going to go for it anyway. And now off the stage again. Quick, but quick. Actually catching another nair in the face and is sent to the other side of the stage for it. Love if Gabriel's use of fair right now. Even oh, the gyro set him off of ledge. Disgusting, <laughs> bro. Absolutely like not okay. But hey, it's Rob. You gotta get used to it by now. Quick starting to shake it off, but Epic Gabe just never letting Quick have the time to get set up and finding so many punishes on Samus back air. It's yeah. like not necessarily a button you would think to punish, but these forward airs and these parries are being so excellent from Gabe right now. And again, the damage just keeps on building. Catches him with the weak backer, but it's enough to send him off stage. No double jump for Quick, by the way. Still gonna let the gyro roll, roll there. Up tilt into the upper is gonna be the KO, and Epic Gabriel with a dominant game one. Yeah. After like a relatively close and controlled start, yeah, it feels like Epic Gabe found one means of consistent mm -hmm. opening and then just played advantage state. Like, oh, I'm gonna hit you with this fair. Yeah. You're gonna be yeah. put into the corner. And now we're just gonna play the coin flip game. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna keep hitting you. I'm gonna keep finding grabs. Yeah. I'm gonna like play that constant landing mix-up mm -hmm. and keep the pressure on. And when you put Samus under the fire, when you put any trapping character under yeah. the fire, you force them to guess. Yes, yes. And the thing is, like if if Epic Gabriel guesses right, he gets so much damage out of so it compared much. to Samus at that point. Yeah. It's so hard to like match that directly. So Quick has to play the more defensive patient game and keep Epic Gabriel on his toes. Now we see small battlefield, a bit of a smaller stage, not giving Rob as much room. But we also see the position of Quick instantly at the edge of the platform, just sitting there, not going too far to the ledge. Yeah, it makes it even harder for Rob to bypass with the position that Quick has set up. These fares covering the platform so well, forcing jumps, forcing awkward landings into that charge beam. But Epic Gabe firing back after a solid start from Quick, trying to gain some semblance of momentum here and doing an Ooh, excellent job of it. That stock great, is gone. Great, but we saw this in game one as well. Very true. Very dominant start for Quick, and then Epic Gabriel picked up the pace and utterly demolished actually the last two stocks. And we see this happening again. 97% in like one interaction for Quick. I guess the stage might go to Gyro, not the way he wanted, but the up smash, not going to confirm the KO, but it's still adding damage to Quick's counter. Yeah, unfortunately, it wasn't the strong hit of that charge, uh, of that up smash. And Quick gets a chance to use that weight, use those battlefield blasts, those pump faking all over, but unable to find the landing, unable to uh, find any more, any more damage than he already has. But if you're quick right now, you don't almost don't even need to like be looking for damage. No. You can just be looking for no. to extend this stock exactly. and put that type of pressure. Yeah. Or you can make a reads. Or okay. I, I don't think <laughs> Gabriel expected that seeing his face after that smash. To be fair, who expects Samus up smash and who expects it to work? Those are like two different, two True, different things. It, the, the, the benefits of playing against Rob. Hey, I have a, <laughs> my up smash not only works and is reliable now. Oh god. Bad. <laughs> The terrible matchup. <laughs> okay, good side beat to catch Quick's jump from the ledge there. The cheeky option there, but still Quick an entire stock ahead and continuing to advance and actually jumping out of the four there. Epic Gabriel escaping that big damage and now Quick with the greedy up B. Jaren had not gonna get 
deep hit there. No more extensions. Quick again to reset the neutral. It feels like Gabe is spacing around, assuming Quick is going to try and like fight at a disadvantage, like yeah. exactly there, yeah. and spaced around it and almost got something off of it. But instead, Quick has been mixing in a lot more air dodges and a lot more uh, of bombs in order to avoid some pressure, rather than always just trying to scrap and turn the tables on Epic Gabriel. Going to have to see if Quick can make it back here, though. They are just Ooh. able to. Just a bit too late with the gyro. Actually getting the option there. Oh, good delayed mash. Not getting hit by the upper. It's going to sit. Looks like, but the damage is still wrecking on for Quick. 137%, uh, but the gyro now Quick's hand throws it up and gets punished for it by the rotor arm. Bit of a mistake there by Quick. And it is looking again like game number one. Quick with the hot start and Gabriel with the answers. Yeah, we can, if you're quick, you cannot let history repeat itself uh -oh. like over again. <laughs> almost finding a big, big finisher. The up close hitbox of Rob Laser actually does so much damage when you're able to get that uh, that visor hitbox. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Again. Setting up for traps, but misses the spacing on that legend, but instead is still able to find a couple fares. Okay, no Gyro oh, in the danger position there. Gets the backer after it. The skip situation. Gyro still there. Happy Gabriel has to do without it for this point. Lands without it with the neutral air and is able to shield the charge shot. It's still going to be advantageous for Samus. Oh, almost gets a dash attack, but just barely out of the way for Quick. Okay, oh, the body this should block. be it. The body block. Oh. That was so unfortunate for Quick. And that is going to be a 2 0 for Epic Gabriel. Continuing to storm through bracket as let's get a look at that yeah, again. Yeah, I wanna yeah. That that was sad. <laughs> it's like the only way I can describe it. Hey, I think I mean, we I think we, we're we, we, it. we get the we get this. We, like we get it, right? You know? Alright, Rob, you know. You're big yeah. Ed. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna watch this unfold. This air dodge, he swerves, yep. right? Yeah, he's, he's looking to swerve cross up and into something like a pivot grab into yeah. dashing. You get to play the mix-up and you get to play the scramble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, then but, <laughs> but oops. Uh-oh. You just like advance it by frame by frame, just getting caught just stuck Here, in there. Like, oh, right. Landing just a little too yeah. soon. Right? Is it right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my and god. If this crossed up and the grab whiff, that would have been the game for Quake. That's actually. game. That's, yeah. in, that's a dash attack. Yeah. Oh, dash that attack. is. Up smash. Up, you know? <laughs> it could have. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> right. <laughs> and if you're not wrong, it means you're right. But unfortunately, True. it is yeah. Gabriel walking with that game barely by like literal frames. And it just goes mm. to show how close some of these games are. And the build up, but not only for Xeno, which is one of the, the best weeklies in Tri State, but for the upcoming major. Like, we could very well see a rematch of Amazing, yeah. Epic Gabe and Quick some point in bracket, and it's guaranteed to be a best of five. Yep, yep. Everything best of five, so that is going to add a lot more pressure. But now there are thoughts to watch back. You can study it, of you course. can see what went wrong, and maybe get a different approach into it. Because again, those, it it's especially hurt since Quick was so dominant the first time of both games. Yeah. And that, right? that, that shows that it's, it is there. The, the potential is there. But the answers of, for, of Gabriel are just too much for, for Quick to handle at that point. And, and just being able to switch around so fast and, and dominantly is, is a really impressive uh, feat for Epic Gabriel. Um, 100%. So